So charcoal, gas, whatever it is, right? I feel like when you're at that grill, you know, you need you need the beer, you need something to go, you know, when you're cooking, right? Yeah, and you know, I'm I'm an expert on the wood-fired grill, oh. but uh, I'm out of my element here when we're talking about charcoal and gas. So that's where Austin Love comes in. He's actually lighting up the grill at Channel Three. That's why they sent us out so that they could have a little party <laughs> while we're down here. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Yeah, quite the segue in there from talking about lighting a field on fire to someone getting hit in the head with a bottle of Rocco. I'm trying to avoid all of that back here because I'm, I'm, I have a lot to risk here. I'm right on the back patio, the beautiful back patio here at WKYC. I'm not trying to burn down the whole studio, but we ha I have some help, thankfully. My friends from Beef O'Brady's, and this is Christine and also Matt. Matt. Matt's gr grilling up some good stuff over here. So we've got the burger and the pork chop right now, just staples for anyone's grill. Matt, tell us what goes into making. First, let's start with that burger. Tell us what, what goes into making the perfect burger here. You just gotta make sure that you season it properly. Uh, you always wanna have probably some salt and pepper on it. Um, don't overdo it, but you know, just a pinch here, a pinch there. And then, you know, you gotta have cheese, whether it's pepper jack, yeah. American provolone, you know, something to just uh, put on top. You can even put toppings like bacon, uh, fried jalapenos like we do with one of our signature burgers so you got a lot of different options go crazy folks you can put anything on there as, a, as far as the imagination can take you in uh, how about this pork chop I mean look take a look at that that looks awesome can we get, can we get in there here take a, get a look at that tell us about that Matt so pork chop you know um, as far as seasoning and everything like that there's not a whole lot that you can do to it you just got to make sure that the pork it's a little uh, kind of tougher meat, so yeah. you want to make sure that you definitely don't overcook it, definitely. or you're going to be chewing on it for a while. Absolutely, and so here's with the magic of television. We've already got these prepared for you, back with the uh, even the pairings of the beer and everything. Christine, tell me about what we have here. Here's that lovely pork the chop. Pork chop right, we have right here. We have that with a side of broccoli. Who doesn't love, you know, a nice little healthy option yeah, you know, on a backyard yeah. barbecue, absolutely. Yeah. Um, our other option here, like not we were talking healthy. about, not quite, we've got the fried jalapenos, we've got some bacon, like we mentioned before, the pepper jack cheese. Cheese is always important on a good burger. So this is, I mean, this is fitting. This is what called yeah. the, the firecracker, firecracker burger? Yeah, perfect for the 4th of July. Oh my goodness, guys. All right, so I'm going to have to, excuse me while we throw it back to, to Will and Tiffany. We're going to be back at the 630. We're going to be talking about a salad, and which is a little bit lighter option, I guess, but then also <laughs> another burger. But take a look at this burger, the size of my head. Well, this is where we're having a lot of fun here. Happy 4th of July. Nothing more American than hanging out in the back patio, grilling burgers with your best buddies, Christine, Matt. We'll be back with them in a little bit for now, guys. Over to you.